I have one. Started going with cousin to some backyard MMA lessons classes in a padded warehouse with a few other people during the summer. One day a full squad of cheerleaders is in there using the place as well with us. Constantly see the girls staring at us when we are rolling while they rest. We do the same when we rest. Constantly both their coaches and our teacher get mad at us for staring at each other. I sweat easily so I'm constantly sweating due to the, this place only having a big fan to cool the place so I constantly go drink my bottled water. One day while drinking one of the cheerleaders is near my shit as she also put her bag near mine. Oh let me get my stuff out of your way. Oh it's okay. What are you doing today? Afterward we make small talk from time to time till one day class of them finishes and ours finishes like five minutes later. Everyone already leaving. See girl I've been talking to standing around with a friend of hers. Hey, not leaving? Yeah, soon actually. We were kinda hoping you could show us some moves. My stupid ass thinks so they can protect themselves. So agree. Show them what we were learning, where you grab their arm, turn your back to them, shove your ass into them, and, like, flip them over you to the floor. Talking to the one girl I always talk to about what she was doing for the weekend, when out of nowhere, get my ass flipped by a girl trying to move on me. Staring at the ceiling as I hit the floor hard, when both of the girls jump on me and start trying to do submissions on me. Main girl is so high on my chest I can barely move and the other girl is like holding my legs. Both are laughing and I'm completely embarrassed and I am like frozen or my body is so heavy. Out of nowhere a girl on my chest is staring at me, leans down close to my face and uses her hand to wipe my face of my sweat and smiles at me. Can feel myself immediately getting hard and immediately notice girl near my legs has stopped moving. Immediately start bucking girl off my chest in embarrassment so they don't notice my boner. Get girl near my legs away pretty easily as she kinda just let go, but girl on my chest is just full on laughing as I try to get a good base to move her. Finally just autism strength her and flip her to now I'm on top of her. She's still just laughing and staring at me. Keep in mind she's wearing her cheerleading uniform. Immediately get up and rush to my bag to hide my full-on hard on See them out of the corner of my eye as leg girl walks up to main girl and starts like whispering something to her Main girl's eyes widen and then just full-on stares at me without blinking She without breaking eye contact goes to her bag and both of them start leaving By and on I have no idea if they knew I had a hard on but I was too nervous to see them again, so I skipped training for two weeks afterwards. Yeah, yeah buddy, I think they knew. Join a new boxing gym. As usual, some uppity fag challenges the newbie so he can get some self-esteem back from being a manlet. Sigh and blow his kneecap off with my Beretta 92 FS. Everyone starts screaming and begging for their lives. Bros, I don't get it, I'm just trying to learn some self-defense techniques here, but everyone's a fucking pussy and starts crying once I break out my gun kata. Girls in the martial arts are weird 100% of the time. Not always sexual or anything, but no normal girls slash women seek it out as a hobby. Rolling with women is boring and is a waste of a round. I'll train and be nice and that's about it. Somehow I'm the fucking bad guy. Yes, at no point did you attempt to sniff or lick her feet in full view of the party goers as a quote goof end quote. Be me. Super tall, 2 meter, heavy weight, 100 kilogram, blue belt rolling with a female, white belt QT. Take her back. OMG, your arm can go all around my body. I love it. My face when trying not to get a boner. There's no way to really win here. Woman tries to fight you. Most likely she can't do shit. Will go all out in an impotent rage and may be able to hurt you now. If you shut them down, you're the bad guy. Best thing to do is just bear hug them so they can't move. 
My girlfriend tries to fight me and cries if I fight back. So I just end it by above. No ground and pound? Weak display of dominance. I train with a multiple time female black belt world champion. She could beat me when I first started, but by the time I had two stripes on my white belt about eight months, we mostly just stalemated. Now as a blue belt, I roll her at 20% as though she is a helpless child and still submit her three times around. To put that into more perspective, I have never submitted a black belt a single time. Not even our 150 pound one. Visiting blue belt girl needs partner. She isn't that pretty. Face looks very nerdy. We roll. I'm just taking it super easy. Let her get to mount. Her gi top is open. She only has a sports bra on. Realize her tits are absolutely massive. A previously concealed fact by her gi. She starts trying to work my arms up. Dropping those glorious tits right in my face and grinding them around. She postures back some. My face had pulled her sports bra down enough that some of her areola was showing. Massive fucking boner, throbbing. There's no way she didn't notice. Considering how weak they sound, I'm convinced all female UFCers are all just giga coomers who want to be manhandled. Subtlety isn't our greatest strength. But chicks could be soaking wet and keep a poker face. Had two lesbians with their entire ground game being smothering me with their titties. Popping a boner with a cup isn't fun when you got a big boy pee pee. Not a real story, but last night I dreamt there was a cute brown belt at my dojo and she playfully bullied me a lot. I wish it was real. Not really martial arts, but whenever I was in high school, there was a girl who would always try and play fight me rough. We would slap box. All the other guys would go easy on her. When she'd fight me, I'd slap the fuck out of her. Block her hits so rough she breaks her acrylic nails. Face has a massive red mark. White knights her upset. I laugh at them. Girl tells them to shut up and that she likes fighting me because I don't go easy on her. Every time I hit her, she just charges me harder. Slap her shit up and she flashes me a pretty smile. Still friends with her 10 years later. She is my only female friend. She had the biggest crush on me in high school, but I never went for her since I had a GF. Still with the same girl, Slap Girl remains an amazing friend and I'm glad we can be good platonic friends. Be me. Tag to fight woman in belt test. Kenpo Karate. She's close to black belt, but not there yet. We're friends, but she has fought other men before for tests, and they all fight very defensively. She told me she feels slighted by this. Okay then, you're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. That's three minutes of pain. I don't just know karate. Amateur boxer. Dabbled in Muay Thai. Used to train MMA. She just knows karate. She kicks me once. I kick her once. Knock her down. She tries to kick me again. Block with shin. She stops trying to kick. Let my hands go. Just walking her down at this point. Crowd is gasping at everything. Nth degree black belts there to watch his guests look intimidated. Fight is over. She hugs me and thanks me for taking her seriously. I fought her son several months after. She tried to prepare him for me, but I kicked him once in the body and he got too scared and stopped protecting his face. A judo friend. International championships and shit. Very annoying tomboy, about 65 kilograms. I don't know any marshals. Get into argument. Women can't match a man's strength. Oh yes we can. No you can't. Yes I can. No. Yes. No you act. It all happened under two to three seconds. She grabs my right arm, twists it behind me. Something's pushing my knees. Something's pulling me back. Forearm hurts like it's about to break. Knees are bending, quads and calves hurting. 
A strong urge to let go and drop back on my ass. Wait a minute. Fuck no dot JPG. Fully engage lower body and lock it in a half rep squat position. Use full force to get my arm free. Instinctively do a motion that can be described close to being a forehand frisbee throw. Put hips, abs, shoulders, and chest into it. Managed to free my arm. Apparently she was still attached to the said arm. She loses contact with the ground for a fraction of a second. She releases grip, lands, and staggers a few steps backwards. Huh, you actually were strong. I still don't think a man who isn't a manlet and or isn't below 80 kilograms can ever be downed by a girl. Grappler chick goes for a double leg sprawl. Lift her up having her ass right to my face. Fun times. Fucking around at a party. MMA guy talking about his hobby. I mention it's not that impressive. He asks if I want to spar. Okay, I guess. He squares up at about 5 meters. I draw from my concealed hip holster in Chapman stance. He freezes, looks confused, smoothly transition from hip to chest to arms extend, squeeze off four rounds in quick succession. It does not throw off my transition as I keep a firm grip on the pistol. Four hits to center mass. He's down. Everyone is stunned. Cheers, applause. His girlfriend comes up and kisses me on the mouth. Not so tough now, are you, faggot?